Secret Invasion Season 1, Episode 1 also quickly set the tone for the rest of the episode and the show as a whole by revealing that Everett Ross, Martin Freeman, was one of Marvel's Skrulls in disguise. When Everett Ross was replaced by a Skrull and what happened to the real one is still a mystery. However, Secret Invasion Episode 1's biggest twist was Maria Hill's death at the end of the episode, which raises the stakes for the remaining Secret Invasion episodes. Maria Hill died in Secret Invasion Episode 1 during a non-official mission in which she, Talos, and Nick Fury tried to stop Gravik, Kingsley Benader S. Skrull Group from bombing a public place in Russia. Gravik's plan in Secret Invasion seems to involve elevating the tension between the world's nuclear nations to the point World War III happens and dooms humanity once and for all. The Skrull's secret invasion had already been behind several terrorist attacks, and now Fury believed that he could prevent the next one. Maria Hill died after the trio failed to stop the bombing. Hill was shot dead by Gravik posing himself as Nick Fury. Maria Hill's death in Secret Invasion Episode 1's ending was tragic by itself, but the circumstances of it made it even worse. The last thing Hill ever saw was Nick Fury shooting her, except that it was not Fury at all. Gravik used his shape-shifting powers to pose as Fury and help Maria Hill get back on her feet, only for him to shoot her right away. Hill's death proves that no one can be trusted in a story like Secret Invasion, where any MCU character could be a scroll in disguise. In addition, Gravik killing Maria Hill shows how ruthless the newest MCU villain is. Secret Invasion Episode 1's ending also shows that Gia, Emilia Clarke's Marvel character, will be a very layered protagonist. Gia had seemingly switched sides and gave Talos key information on Gravik's plan. This is why Nick Fury, Maria Hill, and Talos were confident that they could stop the Skrull's latest bombing attack, even if they did not have any helper allies. However, Secret Invasion Episode 1's ending suggests that Gia never betrayed Gravik and instead walked her father and his partners, including Maria Hill, right into a trap. Was Maria Hill a scrawl and could the real Maria Hill return? It can be simple to assume that Maria Hill's death was a fake-out, and that a scrawl died in her stead in a series where any Marvel character can appear as a scrawl. The first episode of Secret Invasion, however, finishes with Maria Hill definitely dead, and it spends a few minutes with her before the real Nick Fury appears. When the phony Ross passed away in the opening scene of Secret Invasion after being pursued by Talos, his body progressively transformed back into a scroll, beginning with Ross's face turning green. Therefore, if Maria Hill was a scroll in Secret Invasion, the same would have happened to the body of that scroll after they were shot. Likewise, any scroll infiltrating Nick Fury's team would probably be working for Gravik. As such, it would not make sense for Gravik to attack this hypothetical fake hill. In addition, considering that Nick Fury himself faked his death in Captain America, the Winter Soldier, using a similar trick with Maria Hill in Secret Invasion, could come off as cheap. However, the passing of Mara Hill in the first episode of Secret Invasion was unexpected. Since the Avengers 2012, which introduced the Marvel Comics character to theater audiences for the first time, Hill has been a part of the MCU. Hill was one of the few individuals Nick Fury trusted in the entire universe, and she supported him during pivotal moments in the MCU history. This covers the Hydra takeover in The Winter Soldier, the Ultron Crisis in Avengers, Age of Ultron, The Day of the Blip in Avengers, Infinity War, and whatever antics Talos and Fury thought up for Fury's space travels. <laughs> How Maria Hill's death sets up the rest of Secret Invasion, Nick Fury has seen a lot in the MCU, that the death of a partner on the battlefield might change the character in a way that has never been done in the MCU movies. Of course, Agent Phil Coulson, one of Fury's most trustable allies, was killed by Loki in the Avengers. However, the MCU did not really cover Fury's grief for Coulson. In fact, Coulson's death was used by Fury to get the Avengers to work together. The situation is now different, as Fury is the reason why Hill and Talos were part of this highly dangerous mission with no support.